Hello Cancers and Cross Watchers alike. Welcome to your February reading of this current year. Anyway, Cancers and Cross Watchers, this is for the sign of Cancer in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts and please stand by. If this resonates with you, good, good. If not, you just boop your nose, away it goes. There's no point in worrying about shit that ain't about you and ain't none of damn business unless you know Z and you want to say some shit, which is always healthy. All right, so Cancer, either you or a person you're dealing with really wants to be in a relationship, either with somebody from the past or just cause. Because you got the Nine of Pentacles over here in the beginning thing, right? And that's always like single, being alone. That is also the young Empress before she becomes the Empress over here, who is all upset and shit, right? But for right now, she's young and single. But I almost feel like for some of y'all, you don't want to be an old crone. <laughs> Just a little bit, right? So over here in the energy, right, we get the King of Cups with the King of Pentacles. This could be the same person trying to use their intuition to know how to provide, to be good at whatever it is they do. Or it could be you having an idea about a King of Pentacles, Capricorn towards Virgo. It also could be Scorpio or Pisces. Over in the situation is the princess of swords with the empress reverse for some reason somebody's snooping because they're just not happy they're kind of bitter about shit right the ace of cups is in the wants and wishes with the nine of pentacles reverse hating being single and hoping something will change that right however in the obstacles and challenges we have the prince of pentacles slowly riding in to somebody from the past or a past situation, right? An offer. That's the obstacle and challenge. Getting this motherfucker to want to make an offer in the first fucking place. Right? Right. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Fears and rejections. Not taking a leap of faith. Is it a regret you didn't take a leap of faith and you should have let your guard down? Or not take, or were you, did you fear reject? Did you reject the idea of taking a leap of faith to let your guard down? Down below in the how this shit starts and how it'll end. Queen of Swords, logically, analytically cutting things out, dealing with a betrayal of swords. So King of Cups with the King of Pentacles, right? Either you're getting an idea about an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or. This is in your energy where you're trying to figure out how to be a provider, right? You're not entirely sure what you're doing. Yeah, and th there might be no idea. That's okay, though. It might happen. Not sure how to think intuitively because of your emotions about them, I think, too. Um, feeling like you also weren't, aren't sure about whether or not you were a matching pair. Down below in the situation with the Princess of Swords and the Empress. Looking for information because you're pretty bitter about something. Like, you might, like is it a kind of a grudge? Because, you know, that happens. It's like you can't get over being blue about how things went down, even though you kind of need to. Because it's leaving you feeling like you're sec what made you secure isn't worth the investment? Did a breakup leave your ground shitty? Or did someone shit all over your living room floor? That's how it happened. Alright, Ace of Cups with this Nine of Pentacles reverse. You don't want to be single, but you are single. Um, if you are not single, you don't want to be single. But you might end up being single. Or you feel like it already. But you just haven't physically gotten there yet. You're home for a new beginning with whatever it is or whoever it is, right? However, you can also see the danger on the horizon. You're just like, uh, I really don't want to be single. I really don't want to be single. Um, you might get your victory in that. Or you would be surprised how victorious you are being by yourself for a minute. However, the obstacle and challenge is this Prince of Pentacles, also Capricorn Taurus Virgo. So it could be the same dude, right? Slowly but surely riding in with an offer to this past situation. You have no idea if this dude's even coming or he fell asleep on his horse. Just all daft and shit. You know. And it feels like either they released themselves from you or you released yourself from them. Either way, you know. 
the sacred clown or the full reverse with the nine of wands also reverse didn't take a leave of faith in order to let your guard down that might have been a rejection you decided to take dude you were just staring at the snakes but you weren't like knocking them on the head with your stick in order to get rid of them you were just kind of looking at what was going on right but I feel like it was also based on, like, gossip and shit, too. It's like you heard stuff from people, or there was just some shit spread around, or, like, some fucked up idea. How this shit starts, how it'll end, cutting out, logically, this betrayal right here, because it feels like people are looking at you and they also recognize you didn't do much about the situation to begin with also the king of swords is up here as well so there might have been a chance someone was being a douchebag either you or the person you're dealing with cancer cross watcher whichever you choose then eight of wands shadow side was up too so it was like some sort of some action that was taken is what led to the situation and it feels like this oh this is trying to end being single. So, oh, that makes so much more sense now. It's not the fact that you don't want to be single. It's that you've been single and now you're fucking tired of it. And I think you want maybe possibly somebody to come back. Huh. Gonna create a loop, eh? I got you. Wait, wrong deck. My bad. Anyway. You might need to let go of your betties, though. That's quite important. So let's see. Cancers and cross watchers. Is, like, is it too late for now? I don't know. Is it? That's not what I'm going to name the title of your video. Is it too late for now? Because I feel like that's important. So up in this energy, right, where you're pretty indecisive about maybe where it went wrong with somebody now that I'm looking at this right here you know um okay who went for the jugular cancer who did it oh okay so I'm going on the attack with a relationship in mind going into attack like Cupid giving out that love like you will love me but it's like wait someone you care deeply for for sure it's got you looking on the inside at what love was given it's like it look inside because you weren't paying attention that they were trying to give it to you weird but either way like you, you stab them in the throat so that's where we're going right right so romantic you know yeah stab them in the throat in order to make yourself happy oh my lord cancer you tried I think I just think I just think you tried too hard and it fucked up anyway situation right it's not over nobody's really dead yet they're just being zombies and that's all confused like why aren't all of you dead yet this is weird, you know. There might be a chance to, like, actually get back with this person if you try. Have a good time with them. Or maybe you'll just, like, you're not done partying yet. Could be either or, right? Wants and wishes. Seeing this disaster from the background, it could possibly lead you to a victory, or you know where it's going to lead you, right? Um, it's kind of like you got to look at the your friend next to you and just be like, oh, hey, we need to talk. Like, you're guarded, and that was the problem before still, but you're trying. Um, but it would be a step in setting everything into place. However, the obstacle and challenge is that it's like this person, you don't know if they're coming because I think maybe they possibly got free. Or they escaped from your, like, sex dungeon. I don't know. Could be possible. Right? Right. Let's see. Yeah, it's like... It's almost the feeling of, like, they should have listened or you should have listened to people, but you didn't. And I was just like, I wish I hadn't had this sword. Or maybe had someone to talk you out of whatever it was you were doing with the swords. Because it's like all the swords dudes are like all fucky. All doing like crazy shit that's really dramatical and not necessary. 
You know, the King of Swords would be cool in the lightning if he took his fucking armor off. Or, you know, just sat down instead of looking at it, because lightning travels many, many miles. And the Knight of Swords over here is just going out attacking somebody in order to be happy. And here, this dude is just like, eh, maybe I shouldn't have ignored people, you know. Left you possibly with the sour puss. Here's the Queen of Cups. It could be the counterpart to the King of Cups here also. So it could have been a counterpart of yours, Cancer, and Cross Watchers. But, um... It's almost like not listening to her set her off. And it's like, man, I should have listened to her. And now she's all, like, mad and shit. And in her emotions and such. Like, you have no idea how this person really feels. Or they don't know how you feel. One of the two. Fears and rejections. Staring at snakes, but, like, listening to the gossip, right? Mainly about King of Pentacles, once again. And it's like, he's just sitting there, petting his buffalo, minding his own damn business. Like, eh. Does this pentacle feel good to you? Okay. You know I gotta go to the bank later, right? Okay. Just making sure you... Um, could have been some discussion after the conflict to be had? Could still be. But it feels like... You didn't let your guard down because you were listening to people about snakes. But, like... King of Pentacles was calm and could have easily been like talked to or whatever or something but things could have been like worked out how does shit starts how it'll end you feel like you're being watched by a douchebag who really isn't like doing much about the situation at all you know like, you want to take a leap of faith possibly towards him or whatever because you feel like he took something out of your damn box you might be trying to work on the actually coming to some sort of agreement that you both fucking learned a lesson twice if you will and possibly finally bury the hatchet but don't expect it to start anything yeah you guys might actually try to come to terms and like meet on common sense or not common sense compromising um grounds But someone's still going to be expecting somebody else to pay them. Or someone from back in the day um, has to go back and pay something to a young and even though that isn't completely fair. Or how the shit went down was completely unfair. Like expecting this old person to pay the way for the younger one. Like, eh, I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. But that's the reading I got for you, Cancer. So yay. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You don't got to if you don't want to, but I would greatly appreciate it. Of course, because, you know, whatever. Um, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I hope this reading helps you out. Love your faces. Mwah. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.